Hi, I'm Dr. Kanika and I'm the corresponding author for the present study. Along with my co-authors, Ms. Alka, who is the first author, Dr. Yogesh Kumar and Dr. Jyoti Sarin, we carried out this study on the nursing personnel. So palliative care is only available to a fraction of 1% of India's 1.2 billion population. Palliative care in the Indian setting is still not widely researched area and the literature has also shown that the nursing personnel, particularly in India, are not very well prepared for taking care of patients who are in need of palliative care and that is mainly related to lack of professional education. The nurses must be educated and trained to provide palliative care to the patients who actually need it. Thus, this study was carried out to find out the effectiveness of a virtual teaching program regarding palliative care in terms of the nursing personnel's knowledge, self-efficacy and attitude. It was a quasi-experimental study and we used a non-equivalent control group pre-test post-test design for carrying out this study. A sample of 121 nursing personnel was taken using the convenient sampling technique and we used a structured knowledge questionnaire, palliative care self-efficacy scale and from it attitudes toward care of dying scale for collecting the data. And uh, regarding the intervention, the nursing personnel in the experimental group were taught regarding palliative care using the virtual platform that was a virtual teaching program and those in the comparison group were taught by the conventional teaching method. And the results of the present investigation they showed that there were there were significant differences in mean post test knowledge score self efficacy score and attitude score between virtual teaching and conventional teaching group and then we applied ncova and the test results they revealed that there were statistically significant differences in the mean scores of knowledge self efficacy and attitude between the groups and there were higher means obtained in the conventional teaching group so the study finally concluded that both the programs, teaching programs, virtual teaching and conventional teaching, they were effective with the conventional teaching program being more effective than the virtual teaching. So the findings of present study, they have implications in the field of nursing education as well as nursing practice. And the nursing students, they shall study about the end of life experience, pain and symptom management, care objectives and early care planning also. Also, the in-service education programs regarding palliative care may be organized for the nursing staff to prepare them for taking care of the termini terminally ill patients. Hence, organizing educational program regarding palliative care for in-job nursing personnel is recommended to prepare them for a competent delivery of palliative care to the patients. Thank you so much.